Hi, nice seeing all of you once again. Uh, today what we are going to do is one of the favorite parts of this program in life. Um, so play a prank. Let me ask you one thing. When was the last time you played a prank? When was it? If it's more than... Was it a day ago? Two days ago? Three days ago? A week ago? A month ago? A year ago? Uh, I feel life is beautiful and playing pranks is something that really stimulates my mind and gets my creativity going. So ever since I was in school I've been a prankster and uh, once in fact I was about to be suspended from school for a prank I played. I'll not go into much details of that. Uh, I wouldn't want any of you be, to be suspended from school, university or work because of a prank. You'll go and tell them, I heard Yogesh Chabria and he told me play a prank. So uh, I wouldn't want to go into that. But playing a prank and having fun, why I love playing pranks and I feel most people I know who are right in the top doing well in their field have a certain sense of humor i love to play pranks and be easy it's because when you play a prank you connect with the child within you you connect to the inner child and i feel all of us at some level are children i still continue to be a child inside and we connect when we connect with the child inside we develop a certain sense of innocence a certain sense of mischievousness which really makes me enjoy life which are some of the best companies you love like think of the best companies you love like some of the best companies companies I love like I love Google I love Starbucks I love Apple I love uh, Virgin I love Facebook and if you see most of these companies have a tradition of doing something on April 1st so Google always comes up with a prank on April 1st and they go into large depths to come up with the prank it's the same with a lot of companies a lot of people I think it's also the personality of the person that comes in so recently I was reading a book by uh, Richard Branson called the Virgin way and he was sharing a couple of interesting pranks he's played and uh, so one of the pranks he did this was this was uh, a pretty this was a pretty crazy prank and so what he did was he he hired balloons and he got them modified to look like spaceships so these balloons look like spaceships with green lights around and he got one man to dress up like a green alien and all of them went inside this balloon and they started flying over London and when they were flying over London the police everybody got alerted and uh, this balloon with Richard Branson in it went and landed in the place it was surrounded by police and uh, they thought an alien spaceship has landed and they opened the gate and out walks this man with the green costume and the police are terrified but luckily Richard Branson came in and said hey this is a prank because he didn't want it to go wrong and uh, he says that's his thing you know that's something he's always done and uh, that excites him and stimulates his mind uh, that's something also I love doing I love playing pranks and uh, some of the pranks I have played have been very creative and in depth and I think all the pranks which I have played have brought out something nice in me and I have also connected with the opposite person. I feel there is a bond. So at the end of a prank all of us laugh, all of us have a good time and I think it's something nice. It lets out certain nice feelings, emotions and it lets out uh, nice hormones and it really makes us, makes life more than just you know monotonous and working in a cubicle working in an office so the first thing i would like all of you to do is connect with your child i'm sure in childhood you would have played pranks if you didn't play pranks in childhood now is a great time to start think up of a prank which you can play and uh, the more creative the more crazy it is the better and i guarantee you after you play that prank you will laugh a lot you will have a lot of fun and even the person you play that prank on will love you Make sure the prank is good natured, not, not too bad natured because then again I'll get in trouble because you'll go and tell people I was attending a program by Yogesh Chabria, this is what he told me, this is what I did. So make it good natured, don't get me into more trouble than I already have. So play a prank, have fun you know, uh, at work or at college or wherever I go, 
when I see people are too serious, people are too, you know, stressed up and too stiff and, you know, all tight collared, I don't think ideas flow freely. I don't think work happens freely. Uh, the best ideas in the world, the best thoughts in the world, the best work in the world happens when people are relaxed, people are free, people are having fun because when we are free, when our mind is free, you know, we are not restricted by anything, we can think more creatively, we can think more openly. So, uh, I feel success is in an organization in a family anywhere I see I feel people are successful when they're laughing more when they're smiling more when they're happy so if I look at a family and people are laughing people are happy I can sense yes they're, they're successful similarly with an organization if I go in a in a company and I see the employees having fun laughing uh, living life you know that energy gets transmuted or transferred to the employees who walk in to the suppliers who walk into everybody but if I go in an organization and I see people who are serious you know their faces down I automatically get a sense that this is not a great place to work in so having fun makes a lot of business sense works for families works for life and when you have fun suddenly all the stress everything melts away when that melts away you feel energized you feel active when you're having fun you feel healthier people who laugh more people who are having a lot more fun I'm sure are healthier because our mind affects our body so start having fun uh, if in your company people are too serious, just show them this video. Tell them to be a part of this program. Just laugh. And many times, you know, people say, okay, how can we laugh? Life is so tough. There's so many bad things happening. Uh, when you laugh, life becomes easier. Did I share the story of Sam Manikshaw with you guys? Have I shared it? No, I've not shared it. All. So Sam Manikshaw, uh, there was a story which I was reading and I liked it. So there was a battle several hundred years ago. He was from the army and uh, he was shot and so were many of his other soldiers. And when these guys were shot, they're just lying on the ground and uh, the ambulance comes in and they have only one stretcher. You know, they all are occupied. So the, you know, the guys with the ambulance, with the stretcher come to him, to Sam Manikshaw. He's been shot, he's lying on the ground. He has maybe a little while to live. And they ask him, oh, uh, what happened to you? So he replies to them, I'm still waiting for my tea. I'm still waiting for my tea. This is a guy who's about to die. He jokes with them and he says, I'm still waiting for my tea. And these guys notice him from all the other people who have been shot. They pick him up and they save his life. And he goes on to say, it's just his sense of humor that saved his life. I hope none of you get shot. I'm sure none of you will get shot. I hope so you don't get shot. But a sense of humor always connects. So whether you are at work, whether you're applying for a job, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're a student, a sense of humor, a sense of having fun really helps. And at the end of the day, people like to be entertained. People like to be laughed. So, if you see some of the biggest entertainers in the world, why are they paid so much? Why do people pay an entertainer? It's because they are able to change someone's mental state. They are able to make them happy. They are able to make them laugh. Similarly, if you, your company, or anybody you know is able to change this mental state of somebody else, make them feel nice, make them laugh, make them have fun, you will also be rewarded financially. Again, look at the best companies in the world. They all aim to change someone's mental state. So start having fun. Uh, go out, have a prank, just laugh it off. And I'm sure when you laugh, whatever is there that's bugging you, irritating you, will seem not so important. Uh, I'm sure if you look at your life 15 years ago, 20 years ago, when you were in school or college, the problems you had, the tensions you have, oh, will I pass my exam? Will I be able to do this? All of that would seem like a joke. So similarly, look at life, have fun, go out there, be happy. I think uh, that's the best way to learn. That's the best way to be inquisitive. And when you have fun, when you're cracking jokes, you will also be open and receptive to more ideas. Uh, I shall see you soon and go ahead, have fun, play a prank. You can even play a prank on me or uh, our wonderful friends at UniWipe. Go ahead, play a prank on them and I'll see you soon. Bye.